Oh, thanks for coming, guys. Um, obviously, we just started today. So uh, first practice was this morning. We got a black and white game tonight in our squad scrimmage, but open up for you guys for questions for these guys or myself. Uh, we, uh, we expect to get back to the conference tournament, expect to uh, win the conference tournament and get to the NCAA tournament. It was a uh, disappointing finish for us. We had such a great start to the year, Tony. Um, uh, we were you know, flying around. Uh, the Costa Rica trip to help going on an international trip. Uh, our guys came in fit and ready, and uh, we kind of hit a little bit of a volley midway through the season, and we couldn't quite catch our uh, form that we had in the first seven, eight weeks of the season. I'd, I'd say the first uh, couple months of the season, we were as good as any team probably out there, and then we just couldn't keep that form up. So I think we learned a, learned a lesson of uh, you know consistency and how we keep that up, and we worked a little bit of that on the spring and uh, obviously we'll touch on that this preseason uh, with the guys but seeing if we can actually uh, keep our form and keep consistent and uh, yeah get to the get to the conference tournament and get to the NCAA tournament. I think going into last season we uh, <clears throat> we had a lot of goals we fell f short on a few of them but we did do, we did reach some standards that we hadn't reached before you know we fell into the top 25 for a few weeks and those are great things for us and obviously this year we'd like to repeat but not just repeat, we'd like to stay up in there longer. And uh, one big goal that I have, I think the team has as well, is we want to finish the season as strong as we started. So, I think being it our first uh, year of full eligibility, we kind of didn't know what to expect going into the tournament. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be much different this year. We kind of know what to expect. Uh, not, the teams are not going to roll over for us once we get to the tournament. So I think that'll be good. I mean, obviously, conference games are always going to be scrappy, hard-fought games. But when you get to the conference tournament, it's it's a whole new level of that. You know, we were both fighting and scrapping the entire game, and unfortunately, we came out underneath. But being there and being in that situation, you know, we hadn't played that competitive of a game yet in the UNO career. So being there and playing in that game gives us experience going into this year that I think that we can use and learn from. I think we had a statistic last year if. Soccer games were 80 minutes and not 90 minutes. I believe we would have had one loss all year. So we lost uh, a bunch of games late in the match and a bunch of games in overtime. And I think uh, a lot of different things you can um, say for that, but I think fitness is one that uh, we were fit. So most uh, times if you see that you're losing games late, it could be a, a fitness type thing. But I think these guys' fitness issue is always a uh, – it's pretty good. I just think it was the mental side of it, the mentality of closing out a game, finishing out a 1-0 game or getting that second goal. Um, it seemed like we could never get over the hump those last 10, 15 minutes or in overtime. So that's something that we'll address uh, – uh, we addressed a little bit in the spring, but obviously it's a whole new team coming back this fall with the new guys. So we'll address that a lot in preseason and as we get going. So we want to be the team that is uh, scoring that second goal late to put the game away instead of uh, you know going to overtime or getting a late goal scored on us. That was kind of the theme last year when we lose games. They'd be painful losses. Yeah, lost a tough one to Marquette yeah. Yeah. in the last five minutes. We, uh, we lost to Marquette. Uh, then the guys bounce back strong on uh, which was important. You always want to see how you do after a loss. I think it's important to how how uh, how the coach responds, how the team responds. We bounced back against DePaul and got a big win on that Sunday and got a couple more off. And then we kind of went on a stretch where we had um, same kind of thing: win, loss, win, loss, tie. But uh, yeah, it was on the road versus Marquette, first road game. So that's part of it too. I thought last year scheduling wise, you know playing our first uh, four games and an exhibition against Washington, basically our first five games at home, guys were pretty comfortable. We didn't really travel um, in preseason. And so this year uh, we leave tomorrow to go to Penn State. So we're going to be out at a Big Ten school for about two and a half, three days. And so I want to make sure that you know we don't uh, repeat that when we get into the season this year. We actually have some uh, tougher road games starting with Penn State in a couple of days. So. Yeah, we lost a lot of good players. We lost, uh, that was probably our biggest class we've lost since I've uh, since I've been here, since we started the program. We lost, uh, I think, seven or eight players. Um, I think three starters, but I think probably all all of them started a game or two. So we lost a lot of uh, a lot of minutes. Uh, Felipe De Silva, our captain in the back, uh, that's a big loss. Logan Mendez had a fantastic uh, year last year for us, scoring goals and having assists. That's a huge loss. You know, Josh in goal was a big loss. And all the guys that 
uh, contribute. Amir Alahajic, our first uh, MLS draft pick, who's doing exceptional right now in uh, Seattle. So we, we did lose a lot of uh, players, so we had to bring in um, a lot of new players. Um, we have, I think, half our team is probably new. We had three guys graduate uh, high school early and came in in January, and we have seven new additions that uh, came in today. So we will have a, d a different mix. But as you mentioned, uh, this guy here is returning our leading goal scorer, and I think Lalo led us in minutes last year, played more minutes than anybody on the field. So we do have some key guys that come back, but well, it'll take us a little bit more time to uh, to gel without the international trip and adding so many new guys in the team. As much as I want to start off flying, I think if this morning was any indication, I think we got a little bit little bit to go here before we can uh, get to that level where we at la where we were at last year. I feel confident with where we're at right now. I think that going on this early trip in the year is a great learning experience for us. I mean, it's always hard to go on the road, but the more times you can go on the road early, the better off you'll be later in the season. So I think this trip will be very big for us. And uh, I think it'll be a learning opportunity for the young guys as well. They haven't been on trips yet. They haven't played college games yet. So playing some big time competition like Penn State at their place, that'll be a wonderful learning experience for them. And I think it'll help them come along a lot quicker. These first few trips that we're going to go on the road are uh, very important because they let us kind of bond with the new guys. They haven't been on trips before, obviously. And like Coach said also, we had three guys come in and uh, play the spring. So that's really going to like make our job, job easier. They already know, kind of, they have a feel for what we're going to do this year. So, Yeah, we have... Uh well, some guys still are trying to make their way here. We have some international guys that are uh, still uh, held up with their visa right now. Um, so we're waiting on a couple more guys. And then the guys that are here, um, yeah, we brought in, as Lalo mentioned in January, we brought in a couple guys that I think are going to be pretty impactful. Uh, Elvir Ibisevic, he uh, was with the U-17 national team for a year down in residency in Florida. He has got called into the Bosnian U-18 uh, national team at the international level. Um, so he's a he's only 18 years old, but he's a very uh, mature and very experienced 18 year old on the soccer field. Um, he's pretty driven, and I think he'll end up having a, a really good career here. He plays center forward. I thought at times we were missing that last year to have that final piece. So I think he's going to help us for sure in front of goal. Um, Seth Rinderneck is another guy that came in in January. Uh, great athlete, uh, big six foot three center back that uh, probably jumps like a basketball guy and. Um, we're just trying to teach him to play soccer right now, and I think as soon as he learns the ropes of soccer, he's, uh, his athleticism is uh, probably better than anybody in the conference for sure, and probably I would say we're not going to go against uh, many better athletes uh, this year on our schedule. So that's, that's one to look out for in the back. Uh, those are two guys that kind of stand out right away, and uh, obviously we have several others that are hopefully will make an impact as well. Yeah, it's tougher. I think uh, Stanford's the national champions. Uh, Creighton had a great year. I think if we add up those two teams' wins, they've had more wins last year than our programs had. So I think this year's uh, schedule is the most challenging we've had, but it's probably our most experienced team that we've brought back. I would say last year and this year, um, we've had a lot of experience coming back. But that's what these guys want. That's what I want. That's what uh, you know we're here for. We want to play the hardest teams that we can fit on our schedule. And if we have to go on the road to play them, we go there. If we can get a game here, we'll play them there. But I think the hard part is you just never know. We thought UC Irvine last year and Northridge were going to have great years. UC Irvine was a top 20 team, and they finished the year 500 and didn't get to the NCAA tournament. So you, you try to put... I mean, putting the national champs on the schedule, you hope that they don't have a bad year and you want them to win games. So um, I think we have enough, enough competition this year that will keep us, uh, keep us busy for sure.